What's up? George Edmondson here with MotionVFX.com. Today we're looking at the brand new plugin MKBHD. Now MKBHD comes packed with over 50 presets that are designed to help you streamline your editing process and utilize some of the tools the MKBHD team uses on their videos. Now, obviously this is modeled after MKBHD's looks, but you can absolutely get in there and customize those how you see fit so that they can be on brand with your style for your videos. Now in this, we're gonna be looking in Adobe Premiere Pro. Nicholas is gonna give the tutorial, take it away. Thank you, George. Uh, like he said, I am Nicholas and I will be showing you how to use MKBHD, the plugin for motion VFX in Adobe Premiere Pro. So here I am in M Installer. This is software that uh, comes from Motion VFX that just easily installs every one of their plugins and templates for you, makes it really easy. So as you can see, here's MKBHD for Premiere Pro. And all I have to do is click install. It's gonna do its thing and we are ready to go. Let's hop over to Premiere. All right, and now here we are in Premiere Pro. I am in the captions and graphics workspace. And as you can see over here in the Essential Graphics panel, I've got all my great MKBHD tools and templates from MotionVFX.com. Now, if you're looking and your Premiere does not look like mine, just come up here to Window, go to Workspaces, make sure you're on Captions and Graphics, and hit Reset to Saved Layout. That'll get you back to normal. All right, so I've got some clips here in my timeline and we're gonna see what we can make. Let's start uh, by adding an intro. Makes sense, we're gonna start off the video, we're gonna get an intro. Let's do this one right here, intro one. I'm just gonna drag it straight from the Essential Graphics panel onto my timeline. I'm actually gonna put it in the Video 2 channel here, um, and you'll see why in just a moment. And so I'm gonna hold down Command, and that's gonna do that nice ripple edit there. So let's take a look at what we've got here. We've got this great, little animation it's a great little intro right here a little animation in and then as we go on we have this animation out so what i want to do is find that last frame where this covers the whole screen add a little marker so just doing that i just select the clip and add m and now i know exactly where that transition out is now i can press a to select everything that's forward in the timeline drag it back to that point and I'm just gonna tap through here and you can see we've got this great little built-in transition to go right from our title to the rest of the video. So now let's take a look at the title itself and see what we can do. Here in the Essential Graphics panel, we're now under Edit instead of Browse, and we can see all these great published parameters that Motion VFX has added for us for us to modify. So. Let's say, you know, here's the animation out. You know, I want that, like I said, to have as that natural transition there, but I can turn off the animation in and then we just start with a clean logo. That's up to you. I'm gonna keep it in actually, I like it. But we've got all this great control here. We can move this around right here. Or we can scale it up and down if we feel so inclined. Or we can rotate it. We can control the noise, the amount of noise that we have as well as toggle it from monochromatic to color, depending on what you want. We can add our own logo. What you do here, you can see there's just sort of this empty space, little placeholder right now. But I can press this hamburger here, hit replace from finder, and put in there whatever I want. And I can also independently move that around if I would like to. And now right now this title is turned off. I'm gonna turn it on and there we have it. So let's say we're motion vfx.com and now there it is. So let's modify this a little bit. First of all, it's, it's sort of covering our logo. So I'm gonna do this Y offset, take it down, get down here below that little line. That's pretty cool. I'm also gonna change the font. We have total control over that, change it to Helvetica or something. And we've got our family styles here. We can change the font size if we'd liked, and we've got these other parameters as well, such as faux bold, faux italics, and this one that's currently toggled, which is all caps. I can turn that off, and now I've got the capitalization as I've set it up there. We can edit the tracking if we like. We have all that great control. There's an additional type happening as well, and we can make that say whatever we want. Instead, I'm gonna channel George here and say hello. 
And now we've got a great little intro in there. So now at the end of all our video clips here, let's just add our own little outro. Let's just build it ourselves. We've got some great backgrounds here as a part of MKBHD. Let's bring this one in. This is number five. Let's take a look at it. We've got these sort of nodes sort of stretching around on this field of white. Very cool looking. So let's find that animation in once again. All right, there's the spot where it ends. I'm gonna select it, press M, and then take that, and it'll snap to the end of that last clip. So we've got another built-in transition there. And since this is coming at the end of the video, I'm actually gonna turn off the animation out. So this is just gonna stay there, no sort of exit animation. Now, as you saw before, these little nodes, if we scrub around, they're kind of stretching back and forth. We can turn that off too, if we want, and just have them be static, but I like them, so I'm gonna leave them on. So now we can modify these guys. We can just straight up turn them off if we want, and then we just got a little white grainy background. We keep them on, we've got all these great controls to really specify the look of these things. We can modify our grain or just turn it off if we like. And we can change the background color and opacity as well. So I'm actually gonna do that. Let's say, let's make it dark, dark black color. And then I'm gonna change these nodes color as well so we can, we can still see them. Make them white. And there, now I've got this inverse sort of effect on that. Looks pretty cool. Let's go back and let's put a title on top of this. We've got a great selection of titles here in MKBHD. Let's check out this first one, title number one. I'm just gonna plop it right on top of that background. Here it is, Kenneth Moore, Tech News Daily. I'm not Kenneth Moore. So I'm gonna change that to my name. And I am not from Tech News Daily. I am a motion VFX tutor. There we go. So we can modify this just like everything else as much as we'd like. We can move the whole thing around, and scale it, rotate it, anything you wanna do. We can modify these little crosses. They sort of work together as a group. We can even modify the little MKBHD signet. We can just turn it completely off if we like, or just go piece by piece. We can change the colors if we want. We can even modify this glow, which is there. You know, we've got these great controls, the threshold, the radius, the intensity. And alternatively, if we wanted to do a drop shadow instead, we can turn that on and turn the glow off. And now we have a drop shadow look instead of a glow look which is very subtle on this black background, but if you're doing this on top of a white background and you had black text on there, it would look really nice. So I like the way this looks. We've got a great little title and background created very simply, very easily with these Motion VFX plugins. All right, so now let's take a look. We got Marquez Brownlee here. He looks pretty thoughtful. He's talking about something. Let's say our viewer doesn't necessarily know who he is. Let's give him a lower third. We've got a great selection of lower thirds here. This one's pretty cool. All right, there we go. As you can see, it sort of bleeds into this next clip. I don't want it to do that. I just want it to be on screen while Marquez is there. And you can see just by trimming it like that, that animation that is there by default, it's relatively stretched according to that trim I made. So now let's edit the title itself. So it's pulled up here in the essential graphics panel, as you can see. We can move it about if we like under content. But what I want to do is change what it says. This is Marquez Brownlee. He is definitely a video expert, but let's call him cool guy. So as you can see, that text is getting a little bit cut off by the mask there, but we've got so much control over what we're doing that is quite an easy fix. So first of all, I'm gonna take the tracking down to zero. Now we're already getting a little more space in there. And I'm just gonna bump the size of this font down until we can see both E's. There we go. And now to match it, I'm going to take the subtitle and I'm just gonna bump its font size down as well. 
And since we can offset it, I'm just gonna move it closer to his name. Great, now I've got a great little lower third title for Marquez Brownlee. So let's take a look at what else we've got in here. Let's add something to kind of illustrate the specs of this thing. And we've got the perfect preset for that. I'm just gonna drag it right here on top of that clip. So obviously we don't want it right here dead center in our video. So first thing I'm gonna do is turn on my safe margins. And there they are. Now I've got these little boxes. I'm gonna kind of move it over to this negative space over to the left of the monitor. There we go, that's nicely. And like I said, I'm keeping it within those safe margins. But now I can turn them off. I know it's gonna be there. So let's say we wanna show the specs of this thing, give it a rating of some kind. So let's take a look at what we can do. I only wanna talk about three different things. So I can bump down to three points and now I've got them. And right now I've got this title that says evaluation, um, but my viewer knows I'm talking about this computer and this monitor. So I'm actually just gonna straight up turn that off and I'm just, just gonna have these ratings. Now I can change position of these little meters here, make it a little tighter. That's pretty good. Change some other parameters as well. Now for these descriptions, I can talk about exactly what I want to talk about. So let's say I just want to talk about the color. Let's say it's pretty good. We can leave it at four ticks there. Right now it says ease of use. And let's say maybe this, we're talking about the, the Mac here. We can say speed, how fast it is. And Mac Studio, let's say it's maybe, maybe not so great in terms of speed. Maybe it's just a three out of five. And then finally, for number three, let's maybe say instead of price, let's say value. And maybe this is not great bang for your buck. Let's give it a one out of five. We have control over all of this stuff with our parameters published here in this Motion VFX plugin. Now let's say, maybe I say something about the Mac Studio and people are so focused on this big colorful screen that they kind of forget that it's there. Let's say maybe I want something to emphasize it. I can use this little pointer here. There it is, just a couple little arrows. And it is very easy to modify. So let's kind of get it generally where we want it. And now the anchor point of this thing is around the arrowhead itself. So when I rotate, you'll see it rotates around the arrowhead. And boom, now it's pointing at the Mac there. I can modify the arrows themselves, modify the opacity, the color, and I can even get it a fill if I want. And I can give it a drop shadow if I want. Let's do that, separate it from that background a little bit. And now you can see we have this great animated asset pointing at the Mac itself. Now let's say that while he's talking about this, maybe we want a call to action. Say, hey people, follow us on YouTube, Facebook, what have you. We have a great little call to action here as a part of this plugin. It's way too long right now. Just pull it back to there. You can see that it's got all these little social media icons and labels that with it. So since I've got it trimmed down so short, I'm actually going to turn off the animation out. And of course we can move it around under this content drop down just like everything else. If we take a look here under bars, that's these individual little bars that we've got there. We can change how many we have. I'll take it down to just two. So we know from this icon that we're talking about YouTube here. So we can just put the name of our YouTube channel. And the same for this Instagram. We can just say MKBHD. And now we've got this great little call to action title as a part of our video. So lastly, let's talk about transitions for MKBHD. These are the one thing that will not be imported automatically via M installer, but nonetheless, they are still very easy to import yourself. So I'm just gonna go down here to my finder. I'm gonna find where I downloaded uh, the MKBHD plugin should just be in your downloads folder. 
But within that folder, we've got transitions and then this subfolder right here. You'll see all these After Effects projects where it's been built. And then finally, you will see this Premiere project that has all the transitions in it. So you can just open that up and Premiere will open it alongside your project that you're working on. And boom, now you've got all your transitions readily available right here. They're their own sequences and they're very easy to implement. So I think I wanna have a transition going from, uh, let's see, let's maybe this, this shot of the, the Mac Studio to this shot of him using his laptop with it. So here are the transitions. And so each one is its own sequence. So I'm just gonna double click, open it up, grab everything in there, copy it, Command C. Then I'm gonna paste it onto this timeline. Now, the way Premiere works is that it works top down. So you see these tracks are highlighted. And so if I go ahead and get generally where I want it, and I press Command V to paste it, it's gonna overwrite what we've got down there. To keep that from happening, turn off the bottommost one, make sure the, the lowest highlighted one is the track, the lowest track you want to paste to. So right now it's V2 there, and boom, there we go. So conveniently, these two little adjustment layers, where the split is between those, that's where you wanna position the transition. Let's take a look at what we've got. Very cool, great little transition there. And just like everything else from Motion VFX, we can modify it to our liking. We can change the colors if we want. We can modify that grain once again. And we have a new parameter called glint. Or you can see there's this sort of glow around the white where it meets the black. We can modify that here at the radius. You can see it's doing a little something and the intensity is gonna mess with it as well. But I just kind of like it how it is. Motion VFX has set it up beautifully for us to use right out of the box. And let's take a look at the other kind of transition that we get with MKBHD. So transition six works this way. Let's check it out. Once again, we're gonna open it up and copy our material there. Find where we want it to start. And paste it in, there it is. But if you notice as we scrub over, nothing's really happening like we want it to. And that's just because this one behaves a little bit differently from the other type of transition but it's very easy to implement still. So the first thing I'm gonna do is take everything on my timeline, bump it up a track, and then I'm gonna grab this one, and I wanna modify just the video layer without touching the audio. So I'm gonna hold down Option and click that. And that's kind of a universal command in Premiere to where if you wanna select video or audio that's linked to a video and audio clip, if you hold down option, it'll apply the transformation to just one of those parameters. So I've got this one. Once again, I'm gonna hold down option, extend it out so that it ends where the transition ends. And then I'm gonna do the same thing for this one, just extend it backwards. Again, we're holding down option so that the audio is untouched. And the last thing we're gonna do is I'm gonna switch over to this razor blade tool by pressing C. And I'm gonna hold down option while I'm using it and make these cuts where these end. So this first one, the clip from which I am transitioning, I'm gonna Command X, cut that. And then I'm gonna go into Source A here, go to the beginning of this sequence, paste it with Command V, and there it is, it's in there. Let me make sure, double check, it's gonna finish right where that adjustment layer ends. That's where our transitioning is really happening. And then I'm gonna do the same thing with this clip to which I'm transitioning. It's still paired to that audio. So I'm gonna option click it, it's gonna get just the video. Cut it once again, go into source B. And I'm just gonna paste it down there. Once again, make sure it aligns with that. And now let's go back to our sequence and check out what we've got. Cool. So now we've got another great little transition. So once you've done that, once you've cut up those clips, uh, you may find that the audio and video are no longer linked, but that's a real easy fix. Just lasso both of them or, or uh, just click one and hold down shift and click the other one. Just make sure you've got them both selected. Right click them and go up to link. 
and now these are linked. Good as new, back to normal. Once again, we can hold down option and change the individual parameters if we like. Great. So now that I've put together a little something here, I am going to render everything and we can take a look at what we've got. So I'm just gonna say render into out. All right, so now that it's rendered, let's take a look at what we've got. Got this great little intro. It goes right to MKBHD talking. He's got that great lower third on him. Talking about this computer here. Here's our transition. Call to action. And there we go. Very cool and created very easily, very quickly with the great plugins we've got from motionvfx.com. So, once again, this is Nicholas Coker from motionvfx.com. Thank you for watching this tutorial. MKBHD is now available from motionvfx.com. Head on down there, check it out, but don't forget to subscribe and to like this video. We'll see you in the next one. Bye, folks.